Okay, so here we're given a piecewise defined function. It's 3x plus 1 when x is less than or equal to 1, and kx squared when x is greater than 1. And what we want to do is find a value for k that makes the function continuous. And if you remember what continuous means, rigorously, it means that the limit as it approaches that value, in this case 1, because right, each individual piece, right, linear terms are always continuous, quadratics are continuous, but at 1 where they meet, maybe the two pieces don't quite line up. And we want to find a value of k such that those pieces will line up and be continuous. And so in other words, the limit as x approaches 1, right, in other words, as we go close to 1 from either side, we want it to approach the same value, right? Well, those limits have to be equal, right? The, the one side, for this limit to exist, the limits from each side have to be equal. And it also has to be equal to the actual value at that function. Like it has to be colored in, right? It can't be some other value, otherwise that would not be continuous. And so what we need to do is find a value of k that would make these one side limits equal. Because if the one side limits are equal, then the limit exists. And well, f of one, well, we know f of one is just plugging in 1 into the function, and it's defined for all numbers, so we can do that, and we'll see that towards the end. So here we go. Limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side, from the left, and equal to x approaches 1 from the positive side. Again, from the negative side, that means x is less than 1, right? It's slightly less than 1, and so if it's less than, well, actually, if it's equal to 1, but in this case, less than 1, then we're going to use the 3x plus 1 function, and from the right, we're going to use kx squared because x is slightly greater than 1. And we says this rule says for x greater than 1, we use this other function. And so now we want to find these limits. Well, it's actually pretty simple because they're just linear and quadratic. We can just plug in the values of 1. So plug in 1 on the left, we get 3 times 1 plus 1, that's 4. Plug in 1 on the right, and we get k. So, and so we can actually see right here, without any algebra manipulation, that k is equal to 4. So in other words, if our function is this, right, 3x plus 1 when x is less than or equal to 1, and 4x squared when x is greater than 1, then it will be, those one-sided limits will be equal, and so the limit will exist. But is that equal to f of 1? Well, f of 1 is just plugging in 1, and because it's less than or equal to 1, right, we use this rule. And again, we just plug in 1 for x, and we get 3 times 1 plus 1, that's 4. And we've already shown that this limit right from the left is 4. From the right, if we plug in, say you can just plug in 4 for k, 1 for x, and again, you're going to get 4, right? So in other words, the limit as x approaches 1 is 4 and f of 1 is 4, and so um, this function is continuous, or I should say this function down here is continuous at for all, for all real numbers, but especially at 1.